Hey folks, everything new under the sun. Uh, things are heating up in Ukraine. And there was uh, there's more news coming out about the uh, French citizens who uh, were killed there uh, by uh, a Russian offensive. Uh, it says Russia bombed a convoy of French Ministry of Defense officials in Kharkiv. It was receiving the bodies of French soldiers of the Foreign Legion. So there's even more French uh, folks uh, in trouble here. A new strike occurred in uh, Kharkiv region during which officials of the French Ministry of Defense were injured while receiving the bodies of French soldiers killed in an earlier attack. So this is breaking news. And this is Russian media reporting this. Uh, so there's French citizens, uh, now mercenaries originally, but now uh, a group of uh, uh, defense officials going to collect those bodies also. Russia's launched a new missile strike targeting concentrations of mercenary forces in Kiev and Kharkiv. So Russia's now going after these, quote, mercenary forces, which are effectively people from uh, uh, NATO member countries. This is pretty significant, and this is akin to, uh, you know, Israel hitting Syria and having Russian soldiers um, um, killed in the attacks or Iranian soldiers directly killed. Um, this brings both those... Um, the, you know, those sovereign countries into the conflict when their their citizens are now being killed and it can no longer be denied. There's no plausible deniability uh, anymore. And um, what do we have here? Russia to launch large-scale attack in summer 2024. Is summer uh, 2024, uh, the, sum, the, uh, the year is 2024, the year of war. War in 2024. Uh, they're moving on Kiev, apparently. This is their plan. This is their goal. Ukraine will focus on an active defense strategy in 2024 as it expects a large-scale Russian offensive in the summer, the Financial uh, Times points out in an extensive report. The um, Russians' aim will be to fully occupy four regions they have annexed from 2022, namely Donetsk, uh, Lugansk, Kherson, and Zaporozhye. However, according to Financial Times, citing Ukrainian officials, it's not... It is not excluded that a Russia will move again and occupy Kharkiv or even Kiev. The British newspaper, based on declassified U.S. intelligence, says Putin's ultimate goal is to conquer Ukraine and subjugate its people. So again, this this is U.S. intelligence. Um, do we, you know, is what they they're saying correct or not? Um, but uh, being that they're putting this out there, I think is to raise awareness to the public to get the public behind greater war. And, and a move to uh, push more weapons, uh, ammunition, and get more public support for Ukraine, um, saying that, you know, this offensive is so is coming quickly, and this is what Zelensky would want as well, uh, basically a deadline to say, you know what, if you don't give us money and uh, ammunition by such and such a time, this is going to happen. And this could also uh, cause NATO uh, to uh, prepare plans to, again, preempt this. So, again, moving up the timeline, if they believe Russia is going to attack summer 2024, this means they might move up the timeline and uh, NATO do something pro, uh, preemptively or uh, assist Zelensky and Ukraine to do something preemptively in spring of 2024. And are we getting near spring? Absolutely, we are, folks. So time is running down. Um, you know, we're, we're in the middle of World War III. We just don't recognize it yet. Um, when it goes hot per se this is kind of the cold war world war three if you want to call it uh or the easing into world war all we need is the uh assassination of uh you know uh french duke ferdinand whomever it is um some uh some uh life-changing uh thing that happens like the the dropping of a nuclear weapon i know canadian prepper always suggests that um it would take maybe a, a one nuclear weapon to be used to really f uh, foment that anger and really uh get people lined up to finally to say okay okay let's go to all out war here um but it's it's just uh, uh bubbling along and this is what nato wants right now because they just want to wear russia down and this is russia's happy for it to be kind of this uh you know uh, this low-level, under-the-radar sort of war because they don't want NATO to get fully involved, and and if they're as long as they're, uh, you know, meeting some goals and some timeline, um, they don't want to escalate it any more than they need to. So every on both sides, they like this kind of war rumbling along in the Ukraine, just underneath the radar of most people, um, for now. But if it, we'll see if it changes with uh, some of these. Um, uh, 
to see, you know, if some of these uh, offensives uh, uh, come to fruition, um, then that's going to change real quick. So be prepared. Time is short, folks. Um, uh, I think we're going to go to uh, World War Three, and then the Antichrist is going to come in in the middle of that just before we destroy ourselves. And he's going to say, peace, peace. I can bring you peace. I can make an agreement with Ukraine and Russia. I can make an agreement in Israel and Gaza and um, the West Bank and Lebanon. I can bring peace to the whole world. Just give up your sovereignty. Let's w move to a new world order, a new monetary system, and all will be awesome. And this is going to be the savior that the people of the world will want after they're brought to their knees due to World War III, probably nuclear war, probably economic collapse. Uh, that's what I expect is going to come just prior to the Antichrist showing up saying, I can fix it all. Remember, we will not accept the Antichrist. The people of the world will not accept the Antichrist if they are not desperate. And so the world is going to get to a desperate place, uh, nuclear war, economic collapse, before he comes. And we are on the precipice of that happening, I think, right now. I'll leave there, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.